Hello everyone, this is Rick. I wanted to introduce you to a new product called Immacuballs. What are Immacuballs? Well, they are immaculate balls. They are these wonderful orbs that uh, you can use to help get wrinkles out of your comic books. Do they contain the Eye of Sauron? No, they don't. Do, are they special in any way? No, they are not. They are just literally 316 stainless steel one inch balls with a little plastic holder that I made to keep them from rolling off my desk. This one looks like I have a red. I have some clear, looks like this. And I have a lot of these sort of smoke color ones. I like these because they're thicker. They're actually truly a quarter inch, whereas the clear acrylic is only 0.238 inches. That's all I can get these days. Uh, so anyway, I'll introduce you to how I use them and uh, what they are and uh, let you go from there and enjoy. All right, take care, bye-bye. So question, my question might be why why do we need a steel ball? And I've got this old Ghost Rider cover and it, I don't know if it'll pick it up in the light here, but you'll see around the, the S and the T, there's lots of these sort of deep, what I call deep wrinkles. We're gonna just focus on those two letters. And I preheated this book in my uh, heat press and I'm going to put uh, a little bit of silicone release paper and a tamper board underneath it. And then I take my vacuum ball, which I've got three colors of little holders here for. These are literally just one inch stainless steel 316 balls. They're not they're not mild steel, they're stainless because I just don't want little rust spots to make little pits on them. But I'm gonna pick one. I think I have the most of this sort of smoke color and I'm just going to make a figure eight right here. And it might take a few times of doing this. And you kind of give it kind of a, more pressure than you think you would need. And, it, and you're just sort of evening out the little marks here. And kind of roll it in a circle and then it should smash it pretty evenly. We're just gonna do those two letters up the whole cover just so we can see the difference. And you kind of want to go perpendicular as much as you can to the lines that you think are there. And then I do a figure eight at the end so that they're all kind of evened out. And then that's it. It's just a cute thing. Now we'll just press it like normal and see what happens. So here's the book when we're done now. It's still, it needs more pressing. This is just a quick press, but you can see up where the S and the T are, it doesn't, it's not as wrinkly as it is, especially like over here. And if you look in this area down here, well, it actually looks better from pressing, but it doesn't have those big kind of lines in it. You see that? And that's what the steel ball gets. You get just sort of that minute, uh, gets those really deep ones that are hard to get from regular pressing. And you might have to, you, know, you might have to do it from the other side of the page and press them out and go back and forth. And then, but that's what you get with that. Well, what would any of these videos be, fee be without a little before and after? So this is the uh, before picture here, and this is the after picture here. And if you're astute, you can see that it looks better everywhere, but a lot better where we use the Mackie ball. So uh, anyway, I hope that was an entertaining video for you, and I'll see you around. Take care. Bye.